my viewers and my listeners to the program celebrate your moment with joy this is pastor florence i want to take this opportunity to thank you for the time you take to listen to watch to practice what you learn to share with other people and even praying for me how do you pray for pastor florence egr extra grace required so that i'll be able to deliver the words that god give me graciously I also want to take this opportunity to thank God for the privilege of sharing his word. I do not take it for granted because I know it's by his grace. Even as I have sung a song that new to you are a guy at the new to new to new to wa guy who call one more joy new to me wa guy he's by grace he's by grace he's by grace of the lord ninema 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 ya bona when i know it's by the grace of god i can do it without reservation in jesus name my weekly schedules are Monday through Wednesday. I bring inspirational word. And Wednesday is so very special to me when I have one of my mentees, Anna Waja, all the way from Kenya, who bring the show of the moment focusing on the boy child. Let me tell you, when God connects you, he does it in a very defined way. This young mother, this young girl, had no idea how passionate I, I am about male figures. Yet he, she chose Focusing on the boy child. She took more than a year actually from the time I requested her if she can be saying something. But when the time come, when the appointed time come, it's my prayer that your appointed time will come. That you start serving God in Jesus name. Stop prosternating in Jesus name. That's day celebrating in the kitchen because what we put in this body is of importance and it concerns God how we carry ourselves, what we eat, how we dress, how we talk, how we work. Mm. Then Fridays. Putting on the right gear for the weekend because you and I, all of us as humanity, we were created by God so that we can be in action for his glory. So that we don't make his name be brass-hemmed. God wants us to put on the gear, not just the gear. God wants us to put on the gear, not just the gear. God wants us to put on the gear, not just the gear. God wants us to put on the gear, not just the gear. But we live with integrity. Then Saturday, Sunday, I value very much home churches. Those who go to church on Saturday, you can have a chance to go to the place of worship. Those who go to church on Sunday, like myself, you can have a place where you can be able to go, which is your home church. My home church is Grace Fellowship. I'm not a pastor there, but I serve there in the prayer ministry and also in the guest services. You don't want to be just spectators. You don't just be an attendant. You want to participate. And so, you are well covered seven days. Imagine that. Ukahaya nagitomikiriko. Hmm. Nyokaga moyo weti gerai makani asiade na komen wanya do uti rehedo kaga ya moyo wana weti gera. You know many people they fear to do what God has called them to do because they wonder what people will think if these women hako ni mtu mwenye gadu mekuwatia na tu tia tu gata na mduru wakwa hako ni mduru gadu ni da tu gata na mtu mwenye wakwa ni adigiri hadi mekuwatia kama ni watoto wana sema ne unie gohudia tia na siri kama tia da kony na roheni na ni manjua gadu hila let me tell you God calls each one of us individually that's why we see somebody like Gideon when God called him he had to destroy the gods and the idols of the four fathers my brother my sister god is calling you now today is one of those days i bring you inspirational word and i'm gonna be sharing from the book of psalms 124 and the title will be if it was not for the lord you finish for yourself we are going to start with a word of prayer be expectant and i know god will bless you let's pray Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I adore you for your goodness and for your mercies that endure forever. Thank you for the privilege of sharing your word. Use me as a vessel, dear Father. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to thee, O God. And as I share from your word, my Father, let your Holy Spirit put a stamp and anoint me. And Jehovah God, that anointing will break every yoke of my fear and my listener, either now or in the future. Thank you for the power of technology. That we can fulfill the great commission wherever we are. 
take over. I lift you high up, Jehovah God, because you said, if you are lifted up, you shall draw men unto yourself. Do only what you can do. At the end of it, my Father, you shall receive all glory and all honor. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If it was not for the Lord. Listen to this. Hallelujah. If it, was, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive. Hmm. When the Arad was killed against us, then the waters would have overwhelmed us. The stream would have gone over our soul. Then the swollen waters would have gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the flora. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Our hope is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. If it was not for the Lord, my brother, my sister, where would you be? If it was not for the Lord, my sister, where would you have been? That is why. And I can join the singer who sang and said it. Nego oko ga sa je jeso jeso ga toro me kagai jeso da kame haku e da raya me ya da koga ha samwana ni geto mi kya de mo ga sa jeso ne kodu. Ta amota daine wa me ya ita gya ho ti re kwe ruta ni e kanadu to ne mora. There is a praise I sing. You can sing it your own way. Geto mi kya de mo gasa jeso ne kode. Hey, America, Najera, ya kya mai, ta ge siririe, to do ge domo, na besa diare, na to do we wada, ho ke de negu, do re jugaga, ha te we mwaga, jesu di negu, go ko ga sa je, Jesu, Jesu ga toro me kagai. Jesu da kame ya kuwe da raya me ya da koga ho samwada ni. My brother, my sister, when I know if it were not for the Lord, I would not be where I am. Oh gosh. If it were not for the Lord, I would not be preaching this gospel. If it were not for the Lord, I would not be acceptable because I'm a woman. If it were not for the Lord, I would not be in America because it was... I, I, for me, I never even desired. Yes, because I did not even see a way. And it's okay to be emotional. Our God is an emotional God too. When I remember the goodness of the Lord. No, do that. If it were not for the Lord, hari ya kinye tena madige kinya. Hari ya kinye tena nawe madoge kinya. Nikyo ndia ndia kukonjirika niya. Tika manegai ona dogera huu hiya liya lehu. Tika manegai ona guwe doge hota kwe huba. Tika manegai ona doge hota kwe hili. Ona gesi kogo he kire kanua. My brother, my sister. If it were not for the Lord, ati edo shito ni siya geto mede tiye tore muoyo. For those who can't understand that language. Ati our enemies, just as the Bible has said. They would have swallowed us alive. But because of the Lord, we are preserved. Because of the Lord, you are preserved. Are you, are you just preserved just to stay there? Are you just preserved just to be a mother, just to be a wife, just to be a husband, just to be a father, just to be an uncle? No, there is more than that. You've been preserved to glorify God. You've been preserved to preserve the world because we are the sort of the world. We are the right of the world so that we can shine in the darkness. There is a lot of darkness all over. If it were not for the grace of God, but you know what? Just what you are on one ikora Jesus said, let the wheat and the tears grow together. It does not matter what 
the first prophets will come saying how people will distort the gospel. We have to preach it in Jesus' name because this word is true. If it had not been the Lord, I will say, yes, Florence, I will not be where I am. That is why I will preach. That's why I will sing for the Lord. That's why I will matter. That's why I preach like I'm seeing millions and millions of people in Jesus' name. You know, I, I was blessed to have gone to, <laughs> sorry, for mission to Indiana. And uh, I happened to meet this lady and... Uh, we were as we were sharing, we connected so much, and then later on, after I returned back, I kept on seeing this uh, number which was unknown, and uh, I, it was not even in my contact. And then I, I, I called, and I didn't get the person. Later on, we connected, and this is what the message said: I was given your number by so and so. This so and so, I'm not going to say the name, was somebody I met in Indianapolis, and. She was given my contact based on the testimony that the, the person I met there had about me. We had never met. And so we started talking. This one is even in another state. What am I saying? If it had not been for the Lord, I could not have gone there. By the way, I struggled a lot to go there because I had so many commitments. Yet I went amid this, so many, you know, things. My brother, my sister, if it were not for the Lord, you would not be where you are. If it had not been for the Lord and me going there and living what I need to do, needed to do, I took my days off from work and it's expensive too. This lady could not have seen that I, there is something I carry somebody else needed to be encouraged with in another state. I'm talking now about three states. I'm talking about Indiana Porris. I'm talking about Minnesota and I'm talking about Texas because this is I was still, I was connected to is in Texas. I want to encourage you and to challenge you at the same time. What is that that God has given you and you are not giving it to the world? Remember, our gifting are for the for impacting the world. They are anointing we have. Yes. But it is to preach the gospel. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side. Here it says, let Israel now say. But I want you to put your name there. I can put it. Let me, Florence, now say. If it had not been the Lord who was on my side. When men rose up against me. It is plural, but I'm putting it. Because I know I've gone through situation and I go through things. Eh? Hey? Higher. Then they would have swallowed me alive. But because of the grace of God, I am hidden in the blood of Jesus. That combines to Psalms 91. Hey, then they would have swallowed me alive when their wrath was kindled against me. Many people's wrath sometimes are kindled against me. But I want to thank God who hides me in the presence under the shadow of his might. My brother, my sister, if it were not for the Lord, you can finish yourself and say, if it were not for the Lord, I could not have sufficed those storms. If it were not for the Lord, I could not have sufficed that uh, scarcity. If it were not for the Lord, I could not have su survived that joblessness. If it were not for the Lord, I could not have survived that uh, child, you know, barrenness. But you know what? The God of Hannah is still on the throne. The God of Hagar is still on the throne. Even when you are kicked out on, of where you belong, God will still establish you somewhere else. Even when you are forsaken and despised and misused, oh God Almighty, my God, as God, as long as God is with you, if it were not for the Lord, we would not be where we are. If it had not been for the Lord, you could not be breathing, be breathing right now. If it were not for the Lord, my, my brother, my sister, you could not have survived the pandemic. If it were not for the Lord, yes, my dad went to be with the Lord during the pandemic. When there was the restriction, we could not only be around during the funeral, you know, to have 50 people in the funeral and there had to be, you know, government people coming to supervise that there is no food and we don't exceed number 50. People are just around to bury their own. But guess what? Even in that condition, we still survived. Yes. There were restrictions on where you could travel, such that we could only travel when we had the certificate, evidence of the death certificate of my dad. But I want to tell you, if it were not for the Lord, I could not have survived the pandemic. And after the pandemic, let me tell you, if you did not learn something that you can thank God for, you will never learn throughout your life. That breathing, we came to realize it was very important. So if it were not for the Lord, 
Threat you say you could not have survived the pandemic. Why do you think so many people died and you did not die? If it were not for the Lord. On your side. On my side. On our side. That's why I can sing. Go to Gata. Reu kwe modanya. Tondo watuka. Nie die hota. Go to Gata. Reu de nainya. Tondo da korana joe. Nie die hota. Yes. Go ko ko inera de ukwe mo danya todo watuka ni edie ota go ko inera de ukwe mo danya todo watuka ne jo ni edie ota go korogera de ukwe mo danya todo watuka ni edie ota go korogera de ukwe mo danya. Tondo watu kane joe ni edi hota. Daga hinya ni edi kahota. May you not misuse the strength that you have now. And serve the Lord with integrity and with a passion in Jesus name. Then the waters would have overwhelmed us. But God rescued you. The streams would have gone over our souls. Hallelujah. Blessed. Let us finish up and say. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul ex eh, escaped as bad from the snare of the fraud. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Oh, your help, my help, our help is in the name of the Lord. And this Lord is the one who will live for, is the one who will serve, is the one who will sing for, is the one who will advocate for in Jesus' name. It is my prayer that you will know if it had not been for the Lord, you would not be where you are. Father, I thank you for your word. If I have exceeded what you wanted your daughter and your son to hear, I pray. Because you have the power and the ability to shorten it and to edit it to the point where he or she will hear it well and grasp it and put to practice. Do it, O oh Lord. And for me, your servant, let your grace continue to be upon me so that I can continue to give this word for the glory and honor of thy name. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If it was not for the Lord, where would you be? And now that I've reminded you, I bring your memory to the pandemic time. Have you given your life to the Lord or are you still mactiming? Are you still pro profanating? If not, do you want to say this prayer after me? Say, Lord Jesus. I come to you. I realize it's just by your grace. And now I give my life to you. Forgive me, dear Father. Write my name in the book of life. And give me a desire to grow spiritually. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, by faith you've been transformed. The old is gone as the new has come because the Bible tells us, Behold, if any man is in Christ, is a new creature. The old is gone and the new has come. Now start walking in the newness of life. But two things are important. Testimony of what has happened in your life. And also looking for a home church where you'll be able to be a blessing to other people and other people will be a blessing to you. May the Lord God bless you. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I said subscribe. Remember to like. Remember to share with other people. Remember to pray for me. Remember to take a step when you know if it were not for the Lord. And then you'll be able to celebrate every moment. Not just celebrating. Not because other people celebrate. But because every moment you are breathing in and breathing out matters in Jesus' name. And then you'll be inspired Monday through Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You go to your place of worship. And then God will bless you in Jesus' name. I love you. God loves you the most. I'm so passionate about mentoring. Whether you are near or far. That's the beauty of technology. Now at the wanasema at they have grown old. At you mezeka. Umezeka ki Yes, God, if you can type, Jesus loves you. If you have those smartphones, be smart and make the, the gospel smart by sharing it. Come on, I'm going to say, let us get up and preach the gospel when we have the moment in Jesus' name. May the Lord God bless you. I love you. God loves you the most. Thank you.